Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I usually come live on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7, but as I am out here in my craft room um, getting some things prepared and prepped and put together, I thought I would do a quick video to show you guys how I put my um, clean stamp sets together and my dies. It is um, in kind of mid-morning in Arizona, so you will probably hear some ruckus. My puppies are in my craft room with me. My husband's outside working. So if you hear things, just know that um, we are out and busy working away. So I'm going to point you over, and I just want to show you a couple little tidbits. So I am actually working on this for my Facebook Live tonight, something fancy, and I thought I would show you how I put my cling stamp sets together and how I put the dies together. So let's get started. So here are the sticky pieces and our stamp. What I usually do is I pop all these guys out I know I've done a video on this a couple times, but I thought it never hurts to do a video on this. So I'm not being super gentle with it. Um, these guys are pretty, pretty sturdy, but I don't want to rip the stamp, so I am trying to be a little gentle. So I'm going to pop all these guys out. I guess I could have done some of this before I decided to video, but that's okay. And this piece is the mask that is left over. I peel the backing off and I keep mine. A lot of people do throw them away, but I like to put this back in my case so I know if I am missing an image. So I lay this back down and it is now in there pretty secure. So when I'm looking at the back of it, I'll know which one I'm missing. So there's your first step. And here is the fun part. I bring in a block that I know is going to fit all of the images. And I peel off the backing and the sticker. I'm going to lay this on my block. And then I'm going to peel the backing off. So once that is done, I'm going to set it aside and find the coordinating stamp sets or the stamp, and I think it's this guy, make sure to always peel the backing off. I probably would do that before I started peeling the little stickies off. Because if you accidentally put it on this piece, there is no getting it off. Once it is on your clean stamp, do not try to remove it. You will rip the stamp. It is on there like glue. So I'm gonna peel all these guys off just so I don't forget. Okay, all those are off. So this is the image that we're going to be working with. So now I'm going to take my stamp. The stickiness is on the bottom and I'm going to hover over with the clear block and once I get it in position I'm going to set it down and now it is on there perfectly. Then you're just going to put your fingernail up underneath it, peel it off, and then find the coordinating spot that it goes to. So I'll do one more with you. Let's bring this in and we'll grab another larger image. Here's to a beautiful beginning and happily ever after. I will definitely be needing this. My, our last daughter is getting married in November. So I will probably need this quite a bit. That's the coordinating stamp. I'm going to come over, hover over, kind of making sure everything is lined up and I'm going to set this down. There you go. That is how I do mine. And now I'll do the rest later. I'll just throw those in and set it to the side. Now to do the dies. So I get these vent covers from Home Depot. This is actually the cheapest I have found and I have looked um, in quite a few different areas and um, this is the cheapest. I believe they're five or six dollars. They may have gone up. I haven't gotten them in a while. When I do go, I usually get 10 or 15 packs and 
have them on hand always. But I get these from Home Depot. I'm sure any hardware store has them. So I'm going to chop the top off. And you see I am using little kid scissors because I don't want to gunk up my good scissors. And this um, piece as well, you can keep it for shipping things with it or use it for projects. It's a nice piece of chipboard. So it's like an added bonus in there. So you get three sheets of magnetic strips and they are pretty good size. I actually think the measurement is on here. It is eight inches by 15 inches. So, sorry, you can hear my husband. He is working on his bobcat and little Hank is barking. Um, I told you it was a little hectic in the mornings here. That's actually why I don't go live in the morning, just because it's so hectic. Um, so I have a designated uh, magnet trimmer. Um, if you use your trimmer that you use with your designer series paper or your cardstock, you will have to replace your blade every single time. When you're cutting magnet sheets, it is re it eats up your blades super, super fast. So that's another little tad bit tip I wanted to give you. So usually what I do is I just measure how big my um, piece that comes with the dies is. And they're usually all right about the same size but because these dies don't cover the entire sheet, I don't really have to go to the edge. I really just need a small strip in the center. So I'm just going to kind of measure that. And it kind of looks like it's about three and a half inches wide and looks like maybe six inches. So I'm gonna bring in one piece and I'm gonna slide this in at six inches. And this blade is super dull. I only have a few blades left for the old uh, cutting machine. Uh, so I don't want to ruin all my blades. So I'm going to go three, four, five, six times around. It doesn't have to be anything tragic because it's just going to give you a nice crease in the center. So when you fold this, you can fold it back and forth. It will kind of crease it and you can take your scissors and finish cutting it. Oh, see that actually works pretty good that I might just be able to tear it apart. Yep, perfection. So now I'm gonna come in and this is eight inches, so I think I'm just gonna cut it right at four inches. I probably should have waited to do the video until my husband had his Bobcat or backhoe or I don't even know what he's working on. We should have waited until he had it in the garage, but that's okay. So just kind of go back and forth. There we go. So now I have two pieces and lots of leftovers. So let me grab my sheet that comes with the dies. I'm going to pop everything off. Sometimes this tape, I feel like it is impossible to get these guys off. There we go. Okay, perfect. So now I am just going to set this on the top and I can see some of the stickiness is um, going to show on the top and the bottom, which it's not tragic, but if you want to, you can kind of pull this up and it should come off pretty easily. As I say that, of course, as soon as you decide to do a video, nothing works right. But yeah, it does come off pretty easy. So you can take it off if you want to, you don't have to. Grab some adhesive. Put some adhesive on the back of this and you're just going to lay it right in the center. There we go. So now you have your magnetic sheets and you can put everything back so you know where everything is. So there's two more little tricks that I'm going to show you that I do that are super helpful and then we'll be done. I think that fit in there somehow. There we go. Perfection. So let me set this aside and let me bring this in. So here is the casing that um, comes with the dies. So you get all three of these. 
I grab, oops, some tear and tape, and I like to put a smidgen of tear and tape on the inside. So when I have this in my case, my this doesn't catch on it and it ruin my paper. So I glue that down and then I put a piece across the top. And then when I slide this inside, it is stuck to the top and now when I slide this in, it will be perfection. There you go. The only thing that I forgot to bring over was the little mini glue dot that goes on here that I secure this down with. Sometimes it's hard for me to get this in here without ripping the plastic. So I just put a tiny mini, um, dimen not dimensional, not glue dot, um, Velcro strip. Whew, that was a hard word for me to say. I just put a mini um, Velcro strip right here, and there you go. So that is how I do all of my stamps. And I will go back in and finish the rest of them, putting the labels on. And I love keeping the outside of it, so it shows me if I'm missing anything. So hopefully that video was useful, little useful tips. And if you need anything at all, please feel free to reach out. If not, I will see everybody on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 for our next live.